Welcome to day 15, Wednesday, The Still Mind. If you've been following along each day or if you're joining new, we're using a book called The Art of Lent written by Sister Wendy Beckett just to help us in some small way to journey from Ash Wednesday to Easter. Each week on a Sunday online, I introduce the theme and then each day there is a Bible passage, a picture of a piece of art and a short thought by Sister Wendy. Here is today's picture for us. Again, we ask as we do each day, how does it relate to the theme of contemplation for this week and the Bible passage which we're reading. And we're reading Psalm 19 each day in a different Bible version to give us a different sense of God's word. Today is the message version. So Psalm 19. God's glory is on tour in the skies. God's craft on exhibit across the horizon. Madam Day holds classes every morning and Professor Knight lectures each evening. Their words aren't heard. Their voices aren't recorded, but their silence fills the earth. Unspoken truth is spoken everywhere. God makes a huge dome for the sun, a super dome. The morning suns a new husband leaping from his honeymoon bed. The daybreaking sun, an athlete racing to the tape. That's how God's word vaults across the skies from sunrise to sunset, melting ice, scorching deserts, warming hearts to faith. The revelation of God is whole and pulls our lives together. The signposts of God are clear and point out the right road. The life maps of God are right, showing the way of joy. The directions of God are plain and easy on the eyes. God's reputation is 24 karat gold with a lifetime guarantee. The decisions of God are accurate down to the nth degree. God's word is better than a diamond, better than a diamond set between emeralds. You like it better than strawberries in spring, better than red ripe strawberries. There's more. God's word warns us of dangerous and directs us to hidden treasures. Otherwise, how will we find our way or know when we play the fool? Clean the slate, God, so we can start the day fresh. Keep me from stupid sins, from thinking I can take over your work. Then I can start this day sun washed, scrubbed clean of the grime of sin. These are the words in my mouth these are what I chew on and pray. Accept them when I place them on the morning altar. O oh God, my altar rock, God priest of my altar. The picture today is St. Catherine of Alexandria, painted by Raphael in the 1500s. What matters, says Sister Wendy, is not stillness itself, which can be merely physical, but what we do within it. The great mystic Teresa of Avila called the mind a clacking mill that goes on grinding. This is the nature of the mind, to have thoughts. We can indeed still the mind through intense psychic application, but such application directly wholly to the self may be so self-satisfying as to abnegate its very purpose. The purpose of contemplation is a direct stillness, says, says Sister Wendy, which receives rather than acts. There is only one state of perfect freedom from thought, and that is ecstasy. Raphael St. Catherine is rapt. She is lost to everything but her comprehension of God. She leans carelessly on the wheel of her martyrdom, which curves inexorably towards the heavens where she truly lives. This rapturous state is pure gift and not for our seeking. As soon as we seek, says Sister Wendy, self comes in and renders the whole thing useless. So our verse of the day, again, that speaks to us with the picture, these are the words of my mouth, these are what I chew on and pray, accept them when I place them on the morning altar, O God, my altar rock, God priest of my altar. Psalm 19, verse 4.